But that's about it. Yeah, oh, there, there was a drop test right there. That scared me. Did you guys hear that? That background noise? Just come on, use your imagination and pretend that's a waterfall. It's actually the AC because it's so freaking hot in Hong Kong. Summer has arrived and the humidity is killing me. And speaking of heat and humidity, check this out. Yeah, and look at Deer. He's so scared because we're going into unknown territory. I'm so scared. Welcome back to Pick Me Up, Scotty. And I'm Deer. Forget Scotty. I'm just kidding. Back to you, Scotty. So Zing Bao has the balls to continue on the Indiana Jones Lego discontinued sets with this, his adventures on the Crystal Skulls. No, I'm just kidding, man. This is actually from the new film Jumanji. Yeah, even come with a minifigure rock. Yes. No, I'm just kidding too. I'm sorry, man. What you're actually seeing here is a brand new theme from Zing Bao. This is the Forest Adventure. It's a set of six here that are sold individually. You're seeing all sets here together on the table and actually looks really fantastic like this. Well, what do I think? Well, I think we're gonna have to split this video up because there's so much to look at and we're gonna go into order the manual. So I'll probably put them in groups of two. So probably three videos. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Okay, I'm gonna move some stuff around so we can see the set. Yeah, of course the biggest we saved for last. Sorry guys, that one's gonna be in the third video. That's gonna just have to wait. It's forest adventure time. So this is Sing Bell's forest adventure. XB15001, Jungle Survivor. 283 pieces. So it's really small if you wanna get into the steam or just wanna try it out. I know some of you have bought the smaller ones to see if it's any good, but this is a really small one. We'll start with the biggest item here, the tent. Here, I can pick up the tent like this and you guys can see the whole thing right there. I wish it was actually more sturdy. It's kind of loose in some parts because if I flip it upside down here, you'll see that some of the plates just hang by a single stud. So if you push down on it or you're moving it around or traveling with this or you want to play with it, yeah, those pieces might just pop off. There's a big hole there. I wish it was a solid piece. I think they could have made that a little bit better. And you can't really take the top off. It's all built in there. So you're just gonna have to play with the minifigure like that if you're gonna play with it. As for the design, they're kind of using this orange piece in the other vehicles. I'm not quite sure if I'm a fan of that color, but hey man, this is original and they're trying to do something different. So you can probably use your own colors if you wanna make it toned down a little bit, especially the vehicles, or you want it to make it more camouflage looking. Anyway, it does have a little bit of black splash throughout here. And the top there, that's a print, by the way. There are no stickers on these sets. Yay! Got a little flag up there. And a little bit of gold. The little cones there. And that is a print of a mountain. Or it looks like a print with a mountain and a smiley face. I'm not sure what that represents. And you got a couple of jungly looking leaves here. It's not too much, actually. So it's a very, very small little tent. You can probably just put one or two figures barely inside, but maybe this can be for your camping set. I don't know, but it is okay. It's just the orange and this yellow that they use on it. I'm not quite sure if I like that or not. If I do like a small drop test here like that, see the plants will fall off, but, and like I said, this piece here, yeah, the single stud. Oh, the, see, see the plates came off right there. I told you, man, I told you. Not too bad. Just wish they would fix that piece, but otherwise, okay. That's the tent, what's next? And now we come to this massive looking tree. And you know, one thing I actually don't really like is putting leaves, these giant pieces on the tree. Cause the manual makes them look so weird in the angle. Sometimes I can't figure it out. Sometimes I'm just like, you know what? I'm just gonna make my own. So you probably can customize this a little bit more yourself. You know what though? I do like how the leaves or the branches here kind of protrude out. It kind of looks cool. Almost looks like a little horsey on this side but it's not. It's got this funky looking spiky thing on the front and it's got, I think these are mushrooms and it looks more like a marsh swampy looking kind of thing, but at least it goes with the tent. I actually kind of like this tree more than the tent. I don't know why, but there you go. That's this set. Come with too many figures. Let's check them out. And they actually named them. You got this girl and she's a geographer. I like the headpiece. It's actually the hat and the hair built in together. Printing looks fine. She's got her adventure jacket on, I guess. Belt prints on the legs and she's holding a compass that is also printed by the way. She looks very good. Printing actually looks pretty okay on these guys. I like her hat and she looks very happy that she's going camping. And we got this guy and they just call him Explorer. Should be Explorer. But anyway, Explorer is kind of a cool name. So he is more tan than the other guys 
And I actually like his face, his, his sideburns there. And his little mustache is like quite not shaven. Nice print. I like his vest that he's wearing. It's actually a pretty cool print. And it still has a backpack on him. That's a nice addition. The cool thing is he's got this motorbike. It's sturdy and durable. Wheels look like they roll just fine. Can stand up. Sometimes it'll just want to tip over. I think it depends how you stand the minifigure on here. They're standing right now. And it's just that yellow, man, that yellow that they use. I don't know if I'm liking it too much. It does have a big contrast compared to like the green, the greeneries that you see in here. But other than that, you know, it's a very small set. It's fine. Just the tent. Yeah, could be a little bit better. And you know, if I don't want to drop test this one. This one is just going to tip over and the leaves are going to fall off like that, that, that. See, I told you the leaves would fall off. This part is still holding up in there. Did I make it too loose there? Probably. Oh, 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 I almost forgot one more piece that actually comes with this set. It's right here. It's a fireplace. It's kind of fragile to actually put together, but I like it. I like the fact that it looks different. And look at the flames on this thing. It looks pretty cool. And you know, once it is together, it is pretty solid. Shall we do a drop test on this because it's so tiny? Yeah, it's not gonna do anything. The way that it looks kind of rocky with these pieces on here, the light gray pieces, that's pretty cool. You can kind of move the flames around if you want. Yeah, put them like that. There you go. Yeah, fireplace. Let's make some s'mores. But there you guys go. That's the first set, nice and small. Now we're gonna get a little bit bigger. You ready, dear? The bigger the better. All right, you know what? You introduce the next set. Here we go. All right, Scotty. This is the Bell's Forest Adventures XP15002. Explore the jungle. 500. And 25 pieces. Man, I hope I remember which ones are the ones I reviewed. Hopefully I don't repeat myself. All right, it's vehicle time. And this one is mostly about this monster looking vehicle. You know what? It kind of reminds me of the off-road series. Remember the off-road set? I hear something rattling inside though. Well, oh, that's just a chair popping off. I'll put the chair back on here. I had no issues with the build. It was actually a lot of fun. It feels like it's a rough vehicle. This thing can plow through whatever, you know? Let's take a look at the details on this thing, right? First of all, yes, printed tiles. It says adventure here on the door. It's just, again, that yellow, but it's minimized on here so that this kind of yellow orangey tile look, looks okay to me on this car. We're we'll starting the front here. Look at them headlights, them grills. You do have to be careful here on the front. You see the big tires will touch this piece, this headlight. So you might want to just pull it up a little bit. It's very easy to move. The wheels on this thing is massive, right? Got the rear view mirrors there, very simple, and the headlights on the top. Windshield's really small, does have a hood, but doesn't open up. The top here is actually really cool. They got like a little speaker megaphone looking thing. And there's a print underneath. I can't really get to it. Here you can see it there. It's actually a really cool emblem. It's, it sucks that it's hidden underneath this thing. Come to the sides here. Again, prints on the door. The doors are very simple. They open up and close just fine. Unfortunately, in the inside, there's not a lot going on. You have three seats, steering wheel, that is it. No dashboard, no printing, but I kind of think the outside exterior is more important for the set. So the top can be taken off, but it might be a little bit tricky. Some pieces might come off with it, but you can see inside, you can place your minifigures inside and we'll see how they fit on the inside there. Then we come to the back, it's got movable bits here. You see that? The exhaust. What's actually kind of cool here is the trunk opens up in the back here. Yeah. Although it's a really small set, I was quite surprised that they had that much detail in it. It's, it's not much, but it's something there. And then you can just close this up, push it down. There's a back bumper here and it protrudes and sticks out a little bit. I'm actually pretty happy with it. I just wish the set had more of a forest theme to it, but that's fine. You have to have a four wheel drive to go in the forest. Now it's funny underneath, they have the axle, that's the axle, right? It doesn't even do anything, it's just sitting there. It's just for looks, man. You see, they put some thought into it. You know that it's a connection to nowhere. Beefy, that's the word I was looking for. It looks super beefy, and it does have a little extra set here that you're seeing right here, this little exotic looking flower. Now, there was a piece here, it was melted. So I got a funky piece here. Do I want to replace it? That's not gonna kill me, man. I don't know if I'm gonna replace it or not. It looks kind of pretty like that. It looks all deformed and broken up, but you know, I can't put the other little pieces on the flower. But let's look at this thing. It looks like a little pretty flower. I like the design and the overall look. See the orange and the yellowy looking tile actually looks okay to me. It fits with the green here, or maybe that's not pretty to you. They got more little plants here on the back. 
pretty plain. We've seen those before. And this is cool. I like how you can kind of move the tree up and down. And in the center, you got this other orange looking piece here that makes the tree or this exotic plant stand out a little bit more. So this is more like a bonus added piece to the set to kind of give it that forced adventure look. Of course, it comes with three minifigures. Now the minifigures are gonna repeat somewhat over the set. So, you know, they're gonna be the same. For this one, we finally introduced the scientist or Indiana Jones. Okay, we'll just call him scientist. Again, printing looks totally fine on him. I like how he had the vest on the inside of his jacket. That looks really cool. His facial expression is hilarious. Same facial expression as deer with his open mouth going, oh. uh, He looks fine though, I like the color on him. And then we go on to the next person here. Oh, she's new and she's called photographer. What's up with her hair and her hat? It's like they're supposed to separate the colors and said it's gonna cost too much, so we're just gonna make it one color. Looks really weird, this blue. I'd switch that out for, for another hair piece. I don't know, that looked kind of funky. She has a camera. She's wearing a shirt, two shirts. Man, aren't these guys hot, man? They're wearing shirts within shirts. I'd be sweating wearing that thing. Printing looks fine on her. It's just that blue color. I don't know why they use that, but she's got a bag that goes around her. But there you are, photographer. Printing on the face looks totally fine. And let's move on to the next girl. So it's a geographer again. Same exact same thing that you saw on the other one. So I'm just gonna show you this pretty shot of her spinning on the platform. I can speed her up. I can slow her down. But there you go. I don't know why she's always holding the compass though. She's the navigator. All right, you guys, it's dimension times. Now I put the base plate down here. This is a 32 by 32. Cause both of these sets actually fit on here with a lot of room left over. So start with the tent first. So you can see I placed it right there. You guys can probably count it yourself, but you can count along with me. So this is kind of around 12 studs by length. It's almost at 13. And if I flip it here to the side, whoop, 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 whoop. that is 11 studs by width. Let's turn it back and check the height. Now break out your one by four bricks, stack them up here. And if I put this right here, that is just touching the top of there. That is 13 bricks in height. Now, do I really need to do the fireplace? Ah, uh, yeah, I guess so. Here, we'll switch this here. The fireplace is like kind of like six studs by seven going that way. It's kind of around there, so you get an idea. And what's the height? The check the height. Yeah, it's on fire now. Four bricks in height, there you go. Now we're looking at this tree right here, and it's actually 10 studs by length and 10 studs by width, so you get an idea. And do I have to do this part, like how long it actually stretches out? But if you're really curious, I got it to about 20 studs. And as for the height, I'll put the bricks right here, the one by fours again. Come on, stick there, you can do it. Now, it really depends how high you're gonna stack it, but you know, it's comfortable at around eight bricks in height. Now for the monster car, I kind of have to guess it from the back to the front. You're looking at about 23 studs. From this wheel to that wheel, because the wheels are so freaking thick, it's around 23 studs. Now let's check the height. I'll put this down here. And that is just around 10 bricks in height. Yeah. Man, I keep spinning this plate around. Anyway, here's the plant. And that is six studs by length and six studs by width. So there you go. If you stand the plant straight up and take out your one by four bricks and stack him, it's actually almost the same as the vehicle. Yeah, it's just around there. 10 bricks in height. And finally, we've got the little tiny motorcycle in the middle. And last but not least is the motorbike. Of course, it can't really stand up on its own. I have to use the bricks to stand it there. But there you go. Four bricks in height, seven studs by length, and width, I guess just in between one to two studs. So there you go. There's your dimensions of both of them. They can all fit on one plate. And roads, do we need to pull out roads? Okay, fine. I'll pull out a plate, a road plate for you guys. There, how about this road? Look at that. Yeah, that ain't gonna fit in there. The tent won't even fit on this thing. Put the tent there in the corner. We'll put a little fireplace here. Put some trees here on the side of the road. Because I have no idea what I'm doing. Just to show you guys that. Yeah, that's a little bit big, man. Put it on one side of the lane there. It's going to go over for sure. No matter how you do it, it's going to go over there. That looks interesting, though. It's going to drive on through like that. Beep, beep. You know, rotate it to give it like a nice little look for you guys. So there you guys go. Time for drop test on this. I think the vehicle is going to survive. This thing is, like I said, beefy. Here we go. 
Yeah, it even bounced because of the tires. One more time. The top came off, but you know, that's to be expected. It's modular. I think the plants will all fall off every time. They're already getting loose. Don't lose them, don't lose them. Oh, that piece was gonna fall off because of the deformed mation on this one. So there you go, that's the second one from this set. What do you think, dear? You're taking way too long to do these reviews. Hurry up, you got some old ones you still haven't finished. My goodness. Yeah, all right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick myself out right now and we'll continue the next two in the next video. Yeah? All right, you guys, until next time, bring me up. Welcome both of you to the forest adventure. Did you enjoy the Star Wars Galaxy Cloud City theme park? Oh, we sure did. It was absolutely amazing, right, dear? That was the best adventure yet. So we had to come here to visit you guys. As you know, Big Gunny has not yet opened his Brick Me Up City. So what you're about to see is a private tour. And hopefully, Scotty will review his big city very soon. Maybe in a few years from now. His city is really picked up with all kinds of brands out there. Anyway, what you see over here is a campfire, so make sure you get plenty to eat before we go. And there's a nice tent there. Every time you see the tent, please make sure you get lots and lots of rest, okay? Now over here is Explore. You will make sure everything is okay and you don't get hurt. Ooh, awesome. Campfire, s'mores. Dear, do we have a guitar? Does it look like I have a guitar? So, I, I don't know, man. I never know what you put inside your body. You know, you always put things in there. What you talking about? Well, at least we got a tent. Dear, I don't even think you can fit in that. Oh, man! Well, that sucks. I'll just stick my head out. As long as my body is warm, I'll be fine. Hi, Explorer. Nice to meet you, man. Cool bike. Thank you very much. And don't worry. I'll make sure you're okay on this adventure, okay? Don't do anything stupid, okay? You gotta make sure you watch where you're going. Now, you're gonna go to the vehicle over there, and along the way, there's some tree and plant. That's your bathroom. Please go use it before we go. Wait, what? There's no bathroom here? This is a forest adventure. We don't have no bathrooms here. You gotta make sure you do your duties in the trees. All right? No, don't take too long now. It's gonna go in that one. I'm gonna go in this one. What? You can hide behind there and go to the toilet. How am I gonna hide behind here? Just do it, man. There's not enough time for this. We gotta go on this big adventure. All right, all right, all right. Whoa, who are you? Hi, oh, Asha, don't worry. I didn't take any pictures of you. I'm your photographer. I will be taking snapshots of your entire journey on this trip. Make sure you have a good time and make sure you have plenty of memories to share with the kids. Uh, all right, we say so. Dear, you ready? Ah, I'm ready, Scotty. Let's go. Hi, I'm scientist. I will be your driver for the journey. So please hop on in, strap on your buckles, and we're gonna drive out onto the next scene. You won't believe what you're gonna see. We're gonna try to find some treasure together. We're gonna do something you've never ever done before. You ready? Oh, I'm so ready. Scotty, you ready? Yeah, man, I'm ready for this. Let's do it. For now, you guys can like, subscribe, and comment while we get on our way to the next video, the next journey, the forest adventure. See you guys later. Bye-bye, you guys. See you guys.